Hello, my name is Jeff Smith with DEMA Engineering. Today we would like to introduce you to our Mixrite water-powered chemical injectors. These are very simple devices, easy to work on, easy to use, and they come apart very easily. Most of the repairs can be done without any tools at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this apart, and as I do that, I'm going to describe the parts and what they are, and then uh, We'll talk a little bit about maintenance, and at the end of it, I will reassemble the unit right here before your very eyes. Okay. You have the, this is the unit that you will most likely be using. It's a 570.3% to 2% unit, and I'm going to unscrew the top. Now, if it's been in the field for a couple of years, it might be a little stiff, so uh, you might have to exert a little bit of pressure to get it off. This is the top half of the unit. We refer to it as a dome. This is a air release. It's very seldom used. You'll probably never have to deal with it, but it's there. What you see right now is the bottom half of the unit with the engine assembly sticking out of the top. What I'm gonna do is grab the engine, pull it out. These are all the important parts right here. So you have the engine assembly, you have a bar connecting rod, and you have the chemical piston. The bar connecting rod is removed by just giving it a twist and pulling it out. You can also remove the chemical piston by twisting it and taking it out. All right? I'm going to put it back. All right, so when it comes to maintenance items, the lip seals are wear items and the chemical piston seal is a wear item. So you'll get a kit in every unit that looks like this and this is a repair kit which contains the lip seals, the chemical piston seal and there's a tube of silicone grease in here so that you can lube it up before you put it back together. So there's the important parts. You have the lower half of the body you have the chemical sleeve down here, and I'm now going to remove the check valve. There's the check valve. That's how easy it is to take out. This will be discussed in another video where we'll show it to you, take it apart, and tell you how to clean it. I'm going to put it back for the rest of this demonstration. All right. Our units adjust in a similar manner to all the other units in the field. You remove a U-clip and you rotate the blue collar. As you rotate this collar and make the unit longer, you'll decrease the chemical injection. So the longer you make it, the less you get. The shorter you make it, the more you get. It says percent on one side and ratio on the other side. You can flip that if you want to. You can flip it by undoing this nut, lowering the, the part below the support sleeve, and then you can tighten it back up again, and now you see ratio on the front instead of percent. This U-clip right here has a red tag on it that says, do not remove for maintenance only. That is there because if you remove it while the system is pressurized, it's going to be a little stiff to get out, but once you can get it out, if it's pressurized, this is going to come out and your feet are going to get wet. This is your chemical cylinder. This is where the check valve goes into the bottom of. All right, you see through it. This is an item that takes a long time to wear out. It's polyethylene, it's very slick. You can test the parts by pushing them in and pulling them apart like that. That noise you hear is the piston creating a vacuum and pulling the check valve open. So you can see, it's a very simple device. It comes apart, no tools. Here's the body. There's nothing left in it. So you've got the cylinder support sleeve, and your nut. You can see the notches on 
bed that have to go into the notches in the bottom of the unit when you're putting it back together. So it's very simple. You line up the notches, you screw the nut back on. This goes in, you got to compress that O-ring so it's a little stiff. Line up the groove, put the lower clip in, put the upper clip in so it locks it in place. Drop the engine assembly, chemical piston rod in. You're forcing a little air in when you do it. You gotta line it up, which I didn't do. If you line it up, it goes together very nicely. Okay, it's back together, just like that. No tools, nothing complicated. In the next video, we'll talk about the check valve. We appreciate you watching this. Hopefully, we've answered some questions. If there are any questions, in one of the next screens, you will see names of people to call and talk to with questions about how to troubleshoot, check it, repair it, etc. Thank you very much. Hi folks, this is the second edition of the MixRite Introduction Series and we're going to talk a little bit about the check valve and we're going to talk a little bit about what to look for. If the unit has been in the field for several years, there's a possibility that you'll get a buildup of material, foreign material, spec, specs, grit, etc. Uh, on the seal in the check valve. So what I'm going to do is take it apart and show you what to look for. So, nut comes off, check valve comes out. The barb, if you rotate it 90 degrees counterclockwise, the barb comes off and you can pop the seat out and look at it. So. This is your white poppet, some people would call it a piston, and this is your seal. There's a groove on the upper side and it allows the inner part to be flexible so that it conforms to the poppet. Over a period of time, you're liable to get a buildup of material on there that will not allow the poppet to seat tightly against the seal. What you can do is just remove it Put it under hot water, use a little soap and water, rub it around, rinse it out, and then drop it back in. Put the check valve bar back in, rotate it 90 degrees, put the nut back on, grab the unit, and screw it back into place. Now, the symptom that you may see here is that when the system is not being used but it's pressurized, you're getting water back into your chemical container. And that is the symptom that you might see that would cause you to say, okay, I need to check the check valve, clean it, and replace it. Uh, so it's a pretty simple process, and the only symptom that would cause you to do that is really water going backwards into the container of chemical. So the next video clip is gonna talk about proportioning and lip seals after the unit has been in the field for a couple of years. Hi folks, this is the final episode of the exciting series, How to Service Mix Rights. This episode talks about proportioning and drawing chemical up into the chamber uh, this is uh, going to occur, the, what we're discussing here is going to be part of a process where the unit has been in the field for two, three, four, five years and you're starting to notice that it doesn't draw as much chemicals as it used to. So we're going to take it apart. So I'm pulling the engine out, setting the body off to the side. All right, 
In the introduction, we talked about the fact this is your engine assembly, these are your lip seals, and this is your chemical piston seal. And I talked about the fact that these are wear items, kind of like brake pads on a car. Over time, you need to uh, replace them. So as these wear, what happens is, is it loses, it loses its ability to be proportional. So you've had it at 1% for years and years and years, but you notice that it is no longer emptying the pail as quickly as it used to. So that is a symptom of, of these seals wearing and this lip seal wearing and no longer pulling a tight, a, a tight vacuum and lifting the chemical up. One of the other symptoms is you'll notice that when they put a new pail of chemical on the floor and drop the pickup hose in it, this pickup hose, it won't jump up the tube as quickly as it was when it was new. When you see that symptom, and it's going to be years down the road, watch the next video that shows you how to replace these lip seals and this chemical piston seal.